Hi. Good morning if you're on the East Coast. And if you're somewhere else in the world, hello. It's great to have you here. I'm just going to sit up. And we're going to use a light to medium bell for the first round of swings. And then if you want, you can go heavier. So grab a couple of bells. I'm going to set up the Instagram. And then we're going to get started. So if you want to start doing some mobility, and then we're going to get on into a warm up together. And just take a couple minutes. All right, let's see if I set this up correctly. Okay. All right, let's get started. Hi. All right, so got the cameras on, ready to get started for this 20 minute kettlebell live swing session. So grab a medium bell, maybe for beginners, ladies, 10 kg or so, maybe 12, and then a heavier bell, maybe 16 kg. And for the guys, start with whatever's light for you. And then we're gonna go heavier, optional heavier on your second set. All right, so we're gonna go through a few different um, swing variations and techniques. And then later, I'll leave a few minutes for questions and answers. Okay, so I hope you all can see me. Hi, hi, hi. All right, so let's get started with a quick warm up. And I'll adjust the camera as needed as we go. Okay, I think that's good. So let's come onto the ground or onto your mat in quadruped position. So your hands are going to be under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. And this is my go-to part of my beginning of my warm-up every single time. I like to go into cat-cow to get the breathing going and just to feel how the spine is today. So let's exhale and curl, tuck your pelvis under, look to your navel, and then inhale, arch, face up, tail up. So you're getting that hip flexion that we're gonna need for those swings. Curl and arch. Keep going, I'm just gonna check Curl and arch. Curl and arch. Just want to make sure that we're on. Curl and arch. Good. Curl and arch. Two more. Exhale, curl. Arch. One more. And arch. Good. Now take your right hand and thread it under your left, reaching away from me, rotating through the trunk, and then rotate toward me, bend your elbow, and look toward your elbow as you rotate right. Rotate left as you thread through, rotate right. Again, just feeling your thoracic rotation today. If there's any tight spots or glitchy areas, breathe through it. One more time reach and then rotate and put that hand down. Now let's take the left hand, reach toward me and then away from me. Follow the elbow with the eyes, reach and away. Under, two more, reach, one more. Good, hand down, tuck your toes, pick your hips up for down dog. Try to push those heels into the mat. And now come high to the balls of your feet, lift your heels and push down. Lift, just a little warm up before we get started. Lift, one more time, lift, heels down. Now come to plank, drop your hips toward the floor, shine your chest and face forward, shoulders are down. Bend your knees, push back, and straighten your legs down, dog, again. Come to plank. 
Hips lower toward the floor, shoulders down, get a front line stretch, push back. One more time, down dog, plank, hips lower, and push back, and let's come back to quadruped. Good, so now one more thing, come to plank position, your feet are hip width, drop your heels to your left so you're on the edges of your feet, reach your right arm up to the ceiling and center. So we're just getting a little shoulder work here and abs and back to center. Again, dropping the heels to your left, reach your right arm up, center, drop the heels to the right. One more time, drop the heels and other side and come back. Good, make your way to standing. All right, so again, if you have any questions later, I'll take a few minutes and go through them. I've got two cameras, so I'm gonna look at both of you. It's kind of weird, I'm not sure where to look, but I'll, I'll look at both. Okay, let's start with your lighter bell. The first swing we're gonna do is a dead swing. This is typically a high tension swing, right? Where you draw it up from the floor, aggressively pull it back, and then really powerfully drive your legs down. And then imagine that there's a ceiling here and you're gonna brace that weight and your arms engaging your lats so it doesn't hit this imaginary ceiling. It goes back through the legs and then back to the edge on the floor. So demonstration, right? Exhale, pull. One more. So you're really driving your legs down, extending your spine up and then bracing let it come through. The exhale is on the upswing, but you have options. So even though you may have learned it one way, there are options. So if you start to get winded with this, there's no reason why you can't also exhale on the backswing. So option to just exhale on the upswing and option to exhale on, the, on both. I'm gonna do the double version. Okay, so let's start with 30 seconds of dead swings. So you're making a tripod stance, flex your hips back, bend your knees, shoulders down. Your head is in one line, not looking here in a mirror. In fact, I'm gonna put my other belt here. You can put an object in front of you to remind you that when you're coming into your back swing, your head is here and not here, okay? It's helpful. So let's take the bell, shoulders down, head long, and let's go for 30 seconds. Down, touch. Brace. This is a big pull back here. Connecting the wrists to the inner upper thigh, the crotch. Five seconds. Let's go one more. So I find that that breathing helps me to have more endurance and not get so winded or lightheaded with these Swing, so it's up to you. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is continuous swing. So we're gonna start it from the floor and then we're going to, again, high tension and continuous swings. Let's go for one minute, okay? Remember, when the bell goes through, your head is in alignment with your spine and you can look toward that object that you placed in front of you. Okay, continuous, whatever height is comfortable for you to go for a minute. Chest level should be okay if you're going with a fairly light bell. And let's keep that bracing at the top for these swings. One minute in three, two, shoulders down, butt back, and one. Stand up fully.
Brace. Push your legs down as you extend up. Fifteen seconds. Five. One more. Okay. Good. Getting the heart rate up, right? Take some water if you need it. Now, we're going to go into single arm swings. I want to show you the kettlebell sports style of single arm swings instead of the high tension style. Because the high tension style, you're keeping your shoulders square and you're kind of here. But because we have a single weight, it's more natural to let the trunk rotate. And that gives you a chance to relax your grip in that back swing. And then as the bell comes up, you're going to square off. Why is that important? Because if you want to do high reps for endurance purposes, for swing cleans, swing cleans, notice the rotation. Or later, swing snatches, which I'm going to go over in a couple months. We'll go through a snatch variation. So here, I need to rotate. Rotate instead of keeping my trunk flush and squared off. Yes, uh, Sunday I did a rogue online challenge and I got 268 reps with the 16 kg bell using this type of rotational endurance style. It would be impossible to do with a high tension style. So it's good to know different ways of working. So here, the bell goes back connecting the wrist to the crotch as always, but let your trunk rotate to that, uh, to the opposite side of the bell. And then as you stand up, you square off, okay? So we're gonna go for a minute on each side. Are you good? Take your tripod stance, hips back, bend your knees, head is long, and let's begin. Again, you have options with the breath. You can either exhale on the way up or exhale on the way up and the way down. And the free arm helps you to square off here. Square off, square off. And then get that sense as you rotate with the bell going behind you. Get a sense that you can just relax that hand for a split second in the back swing. That's what's going to help you have endurance. Five seconds. And let's change sides on the other side. Use only as much tension on that handle as you need. You do not have to grip the hell out of it. It doesn't make the movement better. Again, this is how you build endurance. If you're doing a heavy set, short set, you only have five minutes, then the high tension method is probably going to be more, it's going to be better for those goals on that particular day. Five seconds. And time. Okay. The last thing we're going to do now is swings with switches. 
This is excellent for your hips, for your spinal erectors, the endurance of your back muscles, and your grip. So we're gonna go one swing, the second one switches. One swing, the second one switches, okay? We're gonna go two minutes total. You don't have to go high. I want you to pay attention to your breathing. All right, let's start on the floor, tripod stance, hips back, and let's begin. One up, this one switches. One or two exhales. Doesn't have to be high. Stand up, stand up by pushing through the legs. It's primarily the opposite leg that you're pushing through. So when the bell is in your right hand, you're really pushing through the left leg. Get a sense of that. And then left hand, it's the right leg primarily. One minute down, one minute to go. Hi everyone, keep going. Keep going. No typing, come on, get your bells on hand. Come on. Straighten up, pushing through that leg. Straighten up, the opposite leg. Straighten up. Fit. Sorry, 15 seconds. And time, good. All right. Take a sip of water. That was the warm-up set. Is everybody okay? That was the warm-up. Um, if you feel good, I want you to go heavier. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing again. All right, bells in hand, everybody, not your phones. Let's go. All right, so now I'm gonna go with the 24 kg. I has really a lot of power, right? Through the legs, through the hips, through the spine, big extension, and definitely paying attention to the breathing. All right. Phones down, bells in hand, and maybe a tiny bit of chalk. And then we're gonna go again with the dead swings. This time, we're gonna go for one minute. So, choose the bell you want. Stay with me for one minute, all right? Let's begin in five seconds, tripod stance, hips are out, tip the bell, let's go. That drawback is really powerful here. Come on, breathing, drive your legs down. seconds to go. Big pull back, come on. Breathe. 15 seconds. One minute, phones down, kettlebells in hand. And let's begin. 
three, two, and one. Let the bell go through your legs. Trunk ends up being at about a 45 degree angle. No more than that. Ten seconds. And time. Good. Okay, so now we've got single arm swings. Okay, using your extension, using a little rotation, and using that free arm to help you square off. We're gonna go one minute on each side. Yeah, heart rate is up. Okay, tripod stance. Long line, shoulders down. Are you ready? One minute, stay with me, come on. And rotate. Pushing through the left leg, if the bell's in your right hand. Straighten up. Square off at the top. Square off. Rotate. Square off. Breathing. The breath is your partner with the movements. It's the music of the movement. Your breath. Ten seconds. One more. And now let's switch. Other side. You're pushing through the opposite leg. Stand up. Feel that pendulum. You're not forcing it. You're following it back and guiding it up. Pushing through the opposite leg, 15 seconds. And one more, good. All right, we have one more, so it's the swing, swing, change, swing, swing, change. So again, this style might seem easy, but it's the non, tension style for endurance purposes. So if you ever wanna do long sets with kettlebells or compete in kettlebell sport, it's a different animal, different approach, different technique, high efficiency, it's very specific. All right, so now we're gonna go one minute, one swing, efficiency, it's very specific. All right, so now we're gonna go one minute, one swing, swing, switch, one swing, swing, switch. Let's do it, position. And let's pull it back, pull it back. Doesn't have to be high. Switch. 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 Opposite leg pushes. Stand up. Breathing.
15 seconds. And this is it. That's it. Good. Take a break. All right. Wow. That went so fast. Uh, I feel like we're just getting started. All right, so again, this is swing. So next time, next month, when I meet with you, we're gonna go into swing cleans and jerks, right? Which are both power moves. Um, so that went so fast. This is KB Sports style. Yeah, what I showed you uh, with the single arm swings and then the swing switches is more of a KB sport style for endurance. Uh, working for weight loss, when is a good time to begin using kettlebells? Right now, right now. Kettle, all you need is a little bit of instruction, which I can help you with to get started. There's no imperfect time. Right now, today. So if any of you wanna work with me, you have questions, um, at Lorna Clydman or lornafit.com is my website. I can help you with kettlebell sport. And my main work is helping women 40 and over, of which I'm in my, I'm 56, and still making records, still feeling good. Today is the sixth year anniversary of my hip replacement. Um, I used to take ballet and do all kinds of crazy stuff and I never had really good hips, very shallow, very high set. So six years ago today, feeling great. Um, so mainly my work is with general fitness for women 40 and over. So if you have any questions about anything, how to approach workouts mentally, how to put workouts together, how to create a home gym or kettlebell sport, kettlebell sport style, how to do kettlebell sport, how do you compete, blah, 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 all of it, I can help you. So it's at Lorna Clydman or lornafit.com. You are welcome. So this was absolutely my pleasure. Um, any other questions? Otherwise, I'll let you go. I hope you got a good sweat on. Let me just see if there are any more questions. Oh, the burn. Oh, yeah. Nice butt lift. Okay. If there are no more questions, then I'm going to wish you a great day. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks. We'll go into swing clean with single and double bells and push, press, and jerk, okay? And if there's anything else you want to request, um, just text me and, and I'll put it on the list of things that we'll do next time, okay? Bye.